Well, right now I am not doing anything, but this software, this AI software is actually filling out all of the features, bullets, titles, descriptions with appropriate keywords. It's matching the colors that I've set automatically without me touching the keyboard or using the mouse or anything like that. What if you never needed to manually upload a listing ever again for Amazon Merch, Etsy, TeePublic, Redbubble, you could do this in batch processing as many designs as you have and as many as you can possibly upload. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get started and get set up and get your first batch of designs uploading exactly like they are now so that you can go and live your life, you know, reclaim your freedom and obviously expand your catalog on Amazon, Etsy, and anywhere else that you're selling print on demand products. So this is gonna be more of an advanced tutorial. If you're brand new to Amazon merch or print on demand, you might want to go study the fundamentals, practice the fundamentals, and then come back to this. But if you are ready for the next level, I truly believe that this is going to completely change your business. Let's go. Here's exactly how to do your first batch process upload to Amazon Merch using My Designs and Merch Titan. And the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to sign into My Designs. You're going to add a folder. In this case, I'm going to be doing Lake niche designs. So I'm going to click on Lake and then I'm going to click open folder and then you're going to see an empty listing screen. So hit upload, upload your files and then you can either drag and drop or click to add your files. Go ahead and drop in your entire collection of files. You're going to see a preview pop up. Go ahead and make sure everything looks okay with that preview. And if that looks good, go ahead and set it to the front slot and hit upload all and go ahead and upload those designs. Now those designs are going to upload in the background one by one, as you can see. And the first thing that you need to know about my designs is it can store your designs that pretty basic. You can, you don't need to keep these on your computer. You could go and delete these right now off your computer. It's fine because they're uploaded on the cloud. They're uploaded into my designs. You're good. The second thing that you really need to know. And the most important thing in my opinion is my designs is going to help you do everything in bulk. So anything that you've wanted to do in bulk in the past in print on demand, it's going to help you do that bulk upload, bulk editing for titles, bullets, brand description, photo uploads, mockups. If you want to change overlays on top of all of your designs all at once, it's going to help you do all of that. So all of your actions, the majority of your actions are going to show up here under this tab. And so the main thing that I want you to pay attention to first is the fact that this is a 3600 by 3600 design across all of the designs. That's not quite big enough. So what we're going to do is actually um, instead of resizing this image, I want to upscale this image to preserve the quality. Make sure that your output file slot is still the front. And so input front, output front, and then go ahead and set your upscale width and height. Upscale the image, and then it's going to overwrite those files once you approve it. So while it's upscaling these images, talk about some of the other actions that you can do. You can translate, you can do your tags in bulk. So if you sell on TeePublic, you sell on Redbubble, Etsy, you can set up your tags in bulk for any niche that you're selling in. The Vision AI, really cool tool. I'm gonna to show you here in just a second how to set up all of our fields here, descriptions, bullets, titles, and brands using Vision AI. So we don't even need to type anything in. It's just going to look at our designs and understand what our designs are and then give us the best keywords and titles and bullets and everything. And on top of that, guys, it will filter out anything that will get us in trouble on Amazon Merch. So now these images, as you can see, they have been resized. These images are good to go. The next thing that we can do is go ahead and if we needed to remove the background, we could do that, but these are already removed. So we could do that in bulk across all our listings, but we're gonna go ahead and use the Vision AI because we wanna make sure that we get all of our descriptions and everything filled out without having to manually go through and do it. So this is taking AI to the next level, truly in bulk. So make sure that you have front selected, t-shirt selected, Amazon merch, and then it's going to fill in all of these fields. You don't need to change anything here. And if you wanted to, you could add in some custom instructions, for example, lake themed summer designs, just to kind of give it some direction but you really don't need to as long as your text is easy to read and your design elements are easy for the AI to understand. You really don't need to do those custom instructions, but let's go ahead and put that in. 
One other really cool thing here, now that it's filled in all of these details, you're gonna wanna go through really quickly and just check through everything. You can go ahead and hit the check trademarks button and make sure that this is blue so it'll show you the trademarks. And then it's gonna sort through your description and make sure that you're not infringing on any trademarks. Now some of these, obviously like the word love or life or essence, like those can't really be trademarked in the same way that that you know would get you in trouble on Amazon merch. If it's a phrase like life is better at the lake, then that is going to get you rejected. So you need to make sure you take out phrases like that. But if it's something simple like the word nature, that's not gonna get you in trouble. That's a normal word that you use in a normal f sentence and there's no reason for Amazon to, to think that you're infringing on the person that owns the trademark for this. So go ahead and check through everything. Make sure your trademarks look good. Make sure your spacing and everything looks good. That the, the bullets are, are, are accurate to what your design actually is. Like for example, sorry, can't, lake, buy. That looks good to me. That's the exact text that we have on the t-shirt. So just make sure that everything matches and nothing looks odd. But since the time that I've been using my designs, it's been really, really accurate. So you've got your text in there. You checked your trademarks. Now we're going to jump over to Merch Titans. We've done everything we really need to do here inside of my designs. Now we can go over to Merch Titans and actually initiate the upload process for Amazon Merch. Now for the first time setup, if this is your first time, you're gonna need to set up an authorization token. You can go to settings and then authorization tokens down here, name it something like Merch Titan two or one or whatever. I already have a couple uh, tokens, so I'm not gonna generate a new one, but you can hit generate and then copy that new token and paste it in to your Merch Titan dashboard. So let's go ahead and go over to Merch Titan. And so I have links for both my designs and Merch Titan down below. You can grab that in the description and you'll be able to download Merch Titan onto either Mac or Windows. And my designs is all within your browser. So if you don't have Merch Titan or my designs and you're trying to follow along, the next step is to download Merch Titan from their website onto your MacBook or Windows PC and then we'll copy and paste that authorization token into that software. Okay, here is Merch Titan. Now in the past you had to upload a CSV file, but now we can just click on this My Designs button, enter in your token that you just generated if it's your first time, or you know, if you've already been here before, it's gonna have that token saved. Go ahead and hit okay. And now you'll see your different folders in here. Of course, the one that we're interested in is the Summer Beach Lake We'll select this and now it's going to just remind us to go ahead and ensure that our fields are matched up properly. So all of our data here is imported. We actually don't need to look at any of this. We can just go back. And what we're worried about right now is just Amazon Merch. So yes, we have the capability to publish to all of these platforms, but right now, um, we are just focused on Amazon Merch. So let's t let's tick off these other platforms. Let's go ahead and go to the Amazon Merch tab. And then there are a few settings in here that you'll probably want to maybe turn on, maybe not. You can make the decisions for yourself. But one that I would leave toggled is save your login. It saves it securely. Um, but basically that way you don't have to re-enter your login every time you want to do some automation and upload designs. Another thing that I would automatically do is publish. I wouldn't really set it to save because then you would have to go in and, and manually publish those listings. So go ahead and leave it on publish. Auto translate, yes. But what we're really focused on here are the advanced settings. So remember when it said on the My Designs upload, it said make sure that your fields match. Well, this is what it's talking about here. The, the, the title column is actually not matched up properly right now. So we want to change this to English.title. The description isn't correct either. So we actually want to... Uh, scroll down select English dot description the brand is correct so we can actually keep we can move on past that one and then our English bullet one in English bullet two should be in these boxes for bullet one and bullet two so let's go ahead and select those English bullet one and English feature bullet two. So now all of our settings are set up. We've selected our file from my designs, the folder that we uploaded all of our designs to. And now what we're going to do is actually hit start after we hit the agree button. And it's gonna show us all of our designs here. All of these are gonna be checked by default. 
and then we can simply hit start upload and as you'll see it's going to go ahead and automatically start the upload process for all of these designs without us having to do anything so now the fun part starts the software is going to take over and do everything for us create our products list everything obviously all our descriptions and bullets and everything we created in my designs is going to get translated and put in over here and now we can go off and do whatever we wanted to do we could even minimize this tab so if you're tired of manually uploading your designs if you're not hitting the revenue goals and the commissions that you're wanting to hit if you're not filling up the slots fast enough to be able to tear up quick enough then this is going to help you fill up your slots even faster it's going to help you batch process your editing so something that may have taken several hours now will only take a few minutes to do in a batch process so you can do something once and apply it to all your designs and you can even create new designs from existing designs there's so many features we can cover in other tutorials if you want to see more tutorials highly recommend subscribing leave a comment below letting me know what you want to see if you want one-on-one -on -one consulting and coaching i can look at your e-commerce business i can look at your systems there's also group coaching available both of those links are in the description i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day create something awesome and i'll see you in the next video bye